in our country. Um, right now, we really have to keep the momentum going. And as I speak, I really want to request that you pick the most graphic um, item that you have on your phone pertaining to this um, situation and just tweet so that we can keep this hashtag alive. Stop the Githawai killings, Ruto must go, um, and then reject the finance bill because that's the main that's the main hashtag we have and it has so much content, so we cannot really like drop it. So reject the finance bill 2024. Make sure that you have all your spellings correct because this government is doing everything to suppress what we are trying to put out there and they are also trying to change the narrative and we can't afford to have that and i can assure you as we speak here today you are infiltrated by so many nis um guys in in this group but we are going to continue what we are doing now the script for tomorrow i know it's scary i am not in the country but i really feel the pain it's going to be a sri lanka moment the reason why we failed yesterday was because we were not big in numbers. The guys who made it to parliament were such a small number. Guys, you have to move in big, big, big numbers. If you are too many, they cannot overpower you. They can't. It has to be literally that 10 million strong CBD match has to make it to the destination. You know, if we fail, this guy will sit on us. I just saw one of his campaign videos. Go look for it where he was crying, I think, in a church. And 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 um, it's a very, this is like, what, maybe two and a half years ago. And his wife, Rachel, was right beside him. And if you look at her, I mean, she looks so beautiful. She's glowing. She just looks amazing. Look at her today. Just go and look side by side. And you can just, you can see the impact of this guy on her. And this is exactly what he will do to us. Mm -hmm. I'm in the diaspora. And I tell you, every time I think about my future because you know we want to retire at home we ask ourselves what can we retire to when we are shipping out our best brains even if we'll have money to go to hospitals or you can go on holidays you will not get the good doctors you will not be able to find um, engineers who can build our roads because everybody will be shipped out so this is really about all of us it's about the gen z's the millennials it's about all the generations we have to protect our country and this is not a president this is a terrorist at the helm and he must come down so please no backing down you all have to go in this together and we are we are here rooting for you we are going to do whatever we can tag this at potas tag uh, uh, um, tag all these big guys tag tag the washington journal the cnn the bbc larry madan all these guys who are going to put all this stuff out keep on pushing these hashtags and keep on tagging them because this is the only way we're going to get the message out there we already have the nigerians behind us the south africans behind us but we are the only ones who can save us from this situation and as far as this uh, and pigs and all these people go we had eight provinces and somebody said this before we had eight provinces we need to go back to that system of like nothing more than nine for the sake of having an odd number to maybe tie voting or something um break ties in voting at etc and all these goodbye packages these car allowances all this crap needs to go and everybody has to take a 75 percent pay cut from the president and retrenchments in government you have too many people in government who are doing nothing these things must happen not now this is for the future but right now we have to focus 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 hashtag 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 kesho we show up many guys in numbers we protect each other because what happened today i am so angry i am so upset with this guy and he is literally killing our future and killing our country i have lived in some of the worst places in the world you go to Zimbabwe, those guys don't have any they have nothing it's a beautiful country in certain people but they have nothing the, the, the economy was destroyed you and these are places i've been to you go to a place like you go to a place like angola there is nothing you go to malawi there is nothing you go to a place like afghanistan people literally have millions in banks that they cannot take out of their savings because the the, the, the economy fell and crashed the government there is refusing to take out the money from the banks i mean it's really bad we cannot become a lebanon we cannot become a statistics we we have to save our country so please guys we are rooting for you and we are so shaken we are so angry and we knew that this guy was a snake from the beginning and we have to crush his head that's it so for me um that's all i have to say and please we, we really stand with you and we're going to continue praying for you and supporting you and sending cash we're going to do all that thank you so what's going to happen is you're going to make sure that you guys who are able to if you have your internet still intact the moment people start losing connectivity we need the ones who have the connectivity to push 
push push push push push blow this out of the water expose these lies expose all these funny things he's doing we, he didn't even talk about the people who are killed the doctor who was killed when she was attending to someone who was injured how do you do that how do you minimize it and make it seem like we are imagining hey, quick, just we're just a I, I, over I, I here enjoy Lee, so if you call on me please have someone else let me know uh, tell brief to speak can someone tell him Brief, go ahead. Uh, Santi Sana, uh, hello, Wakenya and Zangu. Um, I am so delighted that we, I'm so sad, first of all, of course, about the loss of life. Um, it should never have come to this. It was unnecessary. Uh, it, but I'm so delighted at the same time that we are standing up. Um, it, we didn't have to stand up with blood. We didn't have to stand up to the powers that be uh, with the blood of our youth. It was not necessary. I cannot believe that somebody who came into power claiming that he was the president of the Boda Boda guys, the Mama Bogas, the, the little man on the street with bottom up, right? Bottom up, Matakoyake, um, can be doing this for the sake of IMF loans, because that's what it is. These, this is a bill we all know that was written in Washington by the IMF, by the World Bank, and we need to keep that connection very clear. We should not let that go, because we, even as we hold Ruto and the MPEGs in Kenya accountable, we must not allow their accomplices in the Imperial Corps in Washington. They have to, by the way, the World Bank has offices in Nairobi. Mark them, show up, show up with U.S. flags and, and burn the shit out of that shit because these people have been fucking screwing us for over 100 years. And we need to send the message to all of them. This needs to be an all-in-one package to all of them, everyone that is eating Kenyans, because these taxes that we are paying, this regressive taxation, Kenyans are not against taxation. We've paid taxes forever. We just want our taxes to... We want a progressive tax system that ensures that what we pay, first of all, that ensures that you are taxed according to what the economy gives you. If you are a foreign company like Uber, Airbnb, what have you, that comes to Kenya and is earning your taxes from the Kenyan people, you have to pay taxes. These are the very people that the IMF is, 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 is advocating for. The IMF is a lobby organization. The, the Kenyan farmers, first of all, I'm from Dagoreti, um, Waizaka, which is uh, inside Nairobi, but it is rural as hell, and uh, we live on farms. The, what people don't know about this bill that's being introduced is that they have already come for our land. My mm. own family, we owe over 2.5 million in um, land rights, uh, land rates. Where the hell is that mm. supposed to come from? All our neighbors are peasants, um, uh, subsistence farmers, farming their small plots of land. The, and, and the goal is to come and take all of that. So we've already been affected, and this happened years ago. So this has been incremental. It has been happening over a, a few years. All of this is being done because the IMF is the custodian of the U.S. dollar. Their primary purpose is propping up the U.S. dollar, the British pound, the euro, at our expense, ensuring that we stay impoverished and begging for food, from the WHO, the United Nations is the PR arm of imperialism. Do not trust them. They are not there to do anything good for us. Um, so they are very much in cahoots. They, their boys, um, William Ruto, in front of Kenya to do their dirty bidding. Um, and of course, he is as much culpable because he had a choice to say no. But he, cho he chose the IMF and the World Bank over Kenya, the people that gave him his votes. Well, guess what? The same people that gave him those votes, that put him in power, will take him the shit out. So we, I stand with you. We got to keep going, but we got to keep making these connections absolutely clear. Um, the egregious, especially the egregious uh, uh, components that people aren't even talking about as much, 
for farmers. Farmers already are not allowed to exchange seeds in Kenya. My neighbor, my aunt, who's my, I cannot give her seed. It is in, literally, I would be put in jail for sharing my Indi to your Lima last month, last, last season. If I give my aunt my Indi from our, from our farm, I can be sued by Syngenta, American companies. That is why there were American MPEGs sitting behind our own MPEGs in our parliament. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Are we independent or not? So let me correct uh, East African Queen, because she said since independence, we do not have independence. We are fighting for independence right now, and we must not relent. And that's why we must not miss the opportunity to connect the dots because this is imperialism this is how imperialism works uh, we must make sure that these companies monsanto syngenta bio, bio crop science and of course blackrock blackrock is behind the law that has said that kenyan companies kenyan power titles need to be privatized guess who's going to be the number one shareholder it's going to be blackrock they're already the number one shareholder in every government in, in every u.s government bond they're going to be the number one shareholder of kenya airways do we want kenya airways i mean it's already bad enough as it is but do we want kenya airways it's already the most expensive airline i cannot get home on kenya airways i think i've flown kenya airways like definitely less than five times it's always so expensive what do you think is going to happen in blackrock a company that is owned by the same people that are killing uh palestinians that are wiping out palestinians uh what do you think is going to happen when people like those who don't give a shit about africans own kenya airways but that's even the least that, that, that that's the least of our problems it's not just kenya airways it's kplc our electricity our water ruto is 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 getting ready to privatize our water we will not it's already a bad situation with the water situation in kenya but imagine how much worse it's going to be when a wall street company owns our water they will ensure to uh, to to, um, to starve us dry they will ensure that we die of thirst so we must make these connections we must not let up we must mark uh bank offices imf offices in nairobi we must make sure that imperialism is beaten once and for all we did it before the mama went to the forest they kicked out the bridge now we gotta we gotta beat them at their best game which is this insidious underhanded game that they play on us uh the economic until then we are not free so it's not yet to who i hear somebody coming on the mic if that's my time i'm gonna yield there thank you so much for the opportunity because, uh, of course, as you guys know, I could keep going on and on. Thank you so much, Afro. Thank you, uh, Wanyama. Thank you, Joy Lee. Uh, and everyone else contributing. And thank you, Kenya. Thank you, Gen Z, man. I'm so excited. By the way, I was, I, I am part of the original Occupy. So this not, there's nothing that makes me more proud to see Occupy continuing. I was a spokesperson for Occupy in New York. Um, and... After that, when I realized that the fucking occupiers were racist as shit, I moved my activism to just Africa. And so there's nothing more exciting than seeing that taken and transported to my home country. I'm so excited. By the way, I'm coming home. I'm going to be continuing to be part of this. Check out the brief scoop. We're covering the story. And send us your stories. We'll print them um, and, and videos and everything. We'll print them. Thank you so much. Peace out. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, hey, between aloe vera and food, I'll give aloe vera because food in my skin a minute ago. Aloe vera, are you there? Yes, I'm very much here. Thank you. Uh, hey, tell us, tell us. Uh, hey, so now, honestly, my, my, my emotions have been discombobulated because I've had so many things. But here's my, my one of my first things to say was to. Please come uh, closer to your mic. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? You're still distant. 